Hi, everybody. Welcome to the newest episode of Cheese Man Psychotic Breakdown. I'm not sure if any of you know really who I am, but uh, basically I'm Cheese Man and I'm a counselor. And uh, I just got my degree and I just, well, it's, I got my uh, certification to be a counselor and I uh, basically I just break down uh, psychotic people that I talk to basically. And so uh, what Cheese Man Psychotic Breakdown is, is I just kind of describe, I give you the breakdown of, of these kooks that I talk to. And I've, I get people who sign a consent form because I almost got sued last time because nobody signed a consent form. But I get people to sign a consent form and then we go from there and we, we uh, have me counsel them. And I just kind of try and help them through their abilities. So uh, through Dog King's chit chat, we got, uh, I guess Dog King picked out my next person and, and she was able to be here and, I, and I'm going to start the counseling session. She's approved the recording and, and we're just going to go along with it. So here we go. We've got, uh, I don't even know what her name is. It's kind of a mystery to me. So uh, we're just going to find out what her name is and we're going to just kind of go from there. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm so glad that you have me on your show. Um, I just, I'm here basically to kind of prove that, uh, that uh, these people that call me the crazy cat lady uh, are, are wrong about who I am. And I'm, I need a counselor to help prove to the world that I'm not crazy. Well, uh, I, I particularly, uh, particularly I don't enjoy cats myself. What's wrong with cats? I, I got 21 I'm just of them. a counselor. I, uh, I, I just got 21 cats and I understand that you're a counselor. Then you also need to understand that I hate fucking cats. Well, I do like cheese, though. I, I don't understand how you're going to help me, then, if you don't like cats, because okay. I have 21 of them, and I like to dress them up and make them look pretty, cats. and I take pictures of them, Excuse and me, I just love my cats. You take... This is the problem. I... Fucking people and their goddamn cats. They take pictures, they dress them up. Do you even talk... Bad about my cats. I love my cats. I love what? my cats. What the 21, fuck? 21 yes. fucking yes, cats? Yes, 21 fucking cats. What's wrong with you? I've got no, 20 I, other... I you're fucking here. hate cats. Uh, you're, you're here to try and help prove that cats are not crazy for me. Fucking cats? What's fuck no. those pieces of shit. No. We hate no, cats. I, I have a dog cats. right here. I, my, I no. have a fucking dog right here because uh, I hate no, cats No, keep it so away much. from my cats. No, um... Keep the dog away from our cats. No. Fuck. Ugh. I like cheese and I hate <laughs> fucking cats. I, I, I thought you were here to try to help me with my my position that I have. Oh, I Do hate cats. Oh, Dr. Cheese, man, please. Uh, please, is somebody please help me. Do not yell at me. It's not yelling don't, at me. It's don't tell me what to do. Fucking cats. They smell like shit. They... Piss wherever oh, the fuck okay, they want to. Nice they they clean. smell like they're p where they piss. My it cats, smells like piss all the fucking time. My cats piss they in ring the their goddamn cats. doorbell they're really good at two cats. in the fucking morning when they want to come well, in. Some of them do. <sighs> let me let me just take a breath here, because I fucking hate yes. cats. Why it's can't you free. have a cheese problem? Anyway, <sighs> what? What? I, I I call you crazy cat lady. I think what? you're a I'm nutty not, bitch. I can't believe you would call me crazy cat lady. I, I can't I believe will. that you would call me crazy lat lady. I will call you Whatever lat the fuck you call me. I'm not crazy cat, cat lady. lady. I have a lot of cats that I love. Yeah, I, f I feel bad I'm for you. I'm not the crazy cat lady. You are a crazy cat lady. Jesus Christ, you need to get over your issues and get rid of your cats and get some fucking dogs. I'm not going to get some dogs, huh? I'm get not going to get any fucking dogs. I love my you cats. You better get some dogs. Dogs, at least they don't piss and shit everywhere. Ew. They shit in the same spot. Even Ew. if it's in the house, they shit Ew. right so, in the same so fucking spot. So it's okay spot. to pick up dog so shit from wherever it is that they, they shit. Dogs, what if the same spot uh, is right in the carpet? Cats, they pits and you, shit in a fucking cat litter. 
No, I'm not. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here. No. You are you're crazy, you're crazy, crazy cat lady. No. Oh, I'm going to stay right here. That's bullshit. Meowing, you don't have meowing, any idea meowing, what you're talking you about. When you finally give them attention, they take a big shit right in their cat what? litter. And then they piss and their piss smells like fucking what cat piss all year long. What are you talking about? I just don't, long. It's goddamn I don't think fucking you have any idea what you're talking about. I'm out of here. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of the Redneck Review. I'm, I'm a redneck and uh, if, you, uh, if you haven't heard of me, uh, it's okay. It's, I, I do this, real, this show on Dog King's Chit Chat called the Redneck Review, which is what you're listening to right now. And uh, what the Redneck Review is about is basically I take regular, ordinary, mundane tasks and I do a little bit of it so you can see what it sounds like and then uh, and then we go from there and so on the redneck review uh, that's what I do I t- do regular ordinary mundane tasks and I try and figure out why the hell there's an echo but anyway uh, anyway uh, what it's about is I do regular ordinary mundane tasks and I uh, pretty much review them. I tell you what it's like. So you listen to me do it, and then I tell you what kind of rating I give it. And I usually do a one out of five. One being bad, zero being really, really bad, and then five being something that's just kind of dumb. Uh, dumb good. So that's what I'm talking about. But right now, uh, what I'm going to review today is moving. I'm going to review what it's like to move and uh, I'm cur- currently moving and I'm having I'm just moving boxes everywhere because I just moved from one, one one place to another I moved from a teeny tiny apartment so it's kind of like a teeny tiny little pig pig pie pile or pig pen and uh, now I, I, I I've noticed that I have so much stuff that now I live in a big pig pen so I still have all kinds of junk everywhere, and I'm just trying to figure it out and figure out where it's going to go. A lot of this stuff I shouldn't even have anymore, but I still do, and I think, well, I might save it one more day, a couple more times, you know, a little bit longer. And it's a bag that hasn't been opened in 22 years, so I should get rid of it, but uh, I'm not. Currently, I'm just... So I already did the moving part, and I'll explain to you what it was all about. Currently, I'm actually in the moving process. You can hear me moving stuff. That would just fall all over the place if I put it like that. There we go. But uh, basically, what you do is you say, oh, well, I want to buy a home. And then people are like, well, I'm going to help you buy a home. You can either figure it out on your own, or you can hire these people to help you buy a home and what they do is they uh, they come on in and uh, they talk to you and they tell you how things are going and stuff like that and then they figure out what kind of home you want and they tell you how they get paid and everything else because nobody does anything without getting paid and I don't blame them and then after that's all said and done they uh, go out and they look for things that you want like houses and stuff and they send you pictures and all kinds of other things over the internet and see mind you I, I did all of this during the coronavirus pandemic it's currently still going on during the recording of this because I'm right in the middle of the move uh, but I got the mortgage and I'm good now just moving moving everything and uh, nobody wanted to help me because of the coronavirus I, I have an essential job and uh, everybody thought that I might carry the virus and not know it. So nobody ever wanted to come help me out or anything like that. They just stayed away. And I totally understand why. I don't feel bad about that at all. It feels pretty normal, actually. I just hang out with my family and I. But lately, my family and I have been doing nothing but moving. But anyway, you uh, then after, after you tell your realtor what kind of things you want, he or she then goes out and starts figuring out uh, how, how to find it. And they do find it, usually. I mean, I don't know. It'd be kind of dumb to hire them if they couldn't find it. 
So they do find it for you and you look at it and then you say, oh boy, I sure do like this house. And so then the realtor is like, oh good, that's so good that you like the house. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, contact the people that are selling it and they're going to sell it to you. How much do you want for it? And you tell them how much you want, how much you're going to pay. And then uh, they say, yeah or nah. And I, I did it a bunch. And I looked at a lot of houses and put a lot of different offers down with money and everything. And, and they always said nay. They always said, eh, nay, eh, nay. I even had one dude, he was like, eh, yay, yay, yes. And then, and then after a couple of hours, he, he went, eh, never mind, nay. Nay. So, you know, it all depends on who's selling it and what they're selling it for and everything like that and what you're willing to pay for and all that kind of stuff. But uh, that's how all that goes. And then, after you do all that, you get somebody who's willing to give you money. And once they willing to give you money, they ask you all kinds of questions and they make you sign 300 different pages and, and they make you sign them over and over and over again many times and, and it just kind of works like that. And uh, you sign and sign and sign and then after a while they say, oh well we're going to send, send somebody over to look at that house after the one when somebody finally says, yay we want to sell this house to you and you're like, yay I want to buy that house. And so everyone's, yay, good deal. And uh, when that's all going down, it's a good thing. That's a good sign when that stuff happens. And then you end up uh, contacting the mortgage company and, and you take a day or two off and it ends up you take a bunch of days off because they always say, oh, today's going to be the day. And then that day at 3.50, they say, oh, you have... 10 minutes to get us this very important document that we need. And, uh, and as you can tell, I'm, I'm, I'm moving and my family's here with me. And that's, uh, that's the redneck's daughter there. But, uh, okay, good deal. That's how that goes. And so now I'm just moving with my family and moving stuff everywhere trying to figure out where everything's going to go. It's, it's a lot of work trying to figure out where everything's going to go. I tell you what, so much stuff. It's hard to believe how much stuff there is, but man, oh man, there is a whole lot of stuff everywhere. I didn't realize I, I maintained all this stuff. But anyway, after, after a while, you... Uh, I forgot where the hell I was in the in the mortgage scheme of things, uh, but anyway, you get the mortgage. Make the oh yeah, the couple of I took days off in a row. They'd be yeah, you're gonna sell, you're gonna close on that house today, and I'm like, God is a good thing. Daddy. Uh, yeah, I am her daddy, and. I'm a redneck, so I, I talk like a redneck is what she was trying to tell you. But anyway... But anyway, uh, while you're moving, you have to deal with your kids and all the attention they want from you. And, and so there's a lot to do when moving. But anyway, somewhere in the mortgage process I was at, Oh yeah, I got the mortgage and then they're like, oh, we need these really important documents before we can move ahead. And you have 10 minutes to get it to us today. Otherwise, since it's Friday, you'll have to wait till next Thursday uh, to do it. And so I ended up not getting it. I'd like to point out that normally uh, there's not this uh, monster echoey thing in the background. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it's... Uh, I apologize. It's it's a, a thing that's going on that I can't seem to stop. And anyway, you go through that mortgage thing, and next Thursday rolls around, and you can finally close. And they're like, "Well, you have to get up at the butt crack of dawn to get there. You have to be there at five in the morning, and uh, be prepared. Actually, stretch out your hand and stuff, because you're going to sign a million documents. And so after you sign, you go there. You're early." 
They're like, God damn, you should have been a lot earlier. You write a point, you sign, and they explain all the documents. They read them word for word for you, and there's like 500 of them and 300 of the documents you have to sign. So you have to sit there and listen to documents that are the size of a novel. You sit there and listen and listen and listen. And then finally, you get your keys. When you get your keys, well, you don't get your keys. I skipped that part. Uh, trying to go right to the end of the story. But it's not that way. Uh, you sign these documents, and then they're like, OK, we're going to do a bunch of paperwork, and we're really good at this, and you'll get your keys today. Don't you worry. And don't call us, because that'll just fuck everything up. So you wait and wait, and you don't dare call them to find out what they're doing. And so you wait and wait and wait. And wait and wait and wait and you take the day off just to wait and wait and wait and finally by the time you would have been off work anyway they give you a call and they're like okay we're done with all the documents like two minutes after they closed so you're already down in the dumps again you're like god damn it i'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow now to get my brand new house and uh finally they call two minutes after they close oh yeah you're good we're gonna bring you the keys except uh we can't so you're gonna have to come get the keys. And so you're like, well, okay, I'll come get them. And uh, they're like, good, we're glad you're gonna come get them. It's 150 miles away from where the house is, though, unfortunately. And you're like, how in the hell did the keys get that far away from the house when I did my last inspection of the house a day or two earlier? That don't make no sense. So then you're just bummed out and you have to drive long ways and you get your keys. Then you finally get your house. Now comes the fun part. If you haven't prepared yourself and you haven't packed up everything, you get to do that. And if you have as much stuff as I do, you get to pack and pack and pack for a really long time. You get to pack and pack and pack and pack. It's, there's so much packing you get to do, and uh, it's the kind of packing that you just never stop doing. You pack and pack and pack for 20 hours, and then you're finally done. And now you've got to move all that stuff you just packed. And so you're still not quite done. So then you have to take it and you can order a U-Haul for like $3,000. Or you can do it yourself for $78 in gas. So that's what you do. Uh, but unfortunately, you don't have a big enough piece of equipment to do it in one haul. You have to do it about 40 times. So you have to go back and forth and 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 back and forth. And uh, then finally, you're finally unloaded with everything after doing that a hundred times. And, uh, but now, you have all the unpacking. Now the problem with unpacking is you don't know where the hell anything is because you did a real quick pack job and didn't mark anything or organize it. You just threw everything in whatever it was that you saw. And so now you don't know where the hell anything is. So to find anything, you have to unpack everything. And so you unpack and 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 you unpack. Now you have a big fucking mess now that you're all done unpacking. But the good news is you're in your house. So that's a good part about uh, buying a house. And another good part I'd like to admit is I drank quite a bit during the house buying process. I, I think maybe I became an alcoholic because of it because I drank all the time now. Uh, and it's all because of uh, uh, whatever the hell it is all because of the house buying process that's going on because you get nervous and you get sad and then you get happy and you drink well because that's a bummer I can't get my house today well fuck I'm going to drink and that's a bummer once again they didn't accept my offer fuck I'm going to drink again oh yeah I, I, they accepted my offer I'm going to drink no, oh, damn, they want more money. Ugh, I'm gonna drink, and that, that's kind of how the process goes with that. And it's just kind of difficult to deal with and everything. And then, but that's, uh, that's the house buying process. And I will admit, I did drink a lot, just like I said. So anyway, I'm in the middle of the unpacking part still right now, and I'm unpacking and putting things away. And I'm almost out of hangers to hang all these clothes. And I could have sworn every single pair of clothes had a hanger, but they're missing now, the hangers are. So uh, anyway, when it comes to uh, rating a moving process, uh, doing all that, you know, I think it's an up and down roller coaster. 
And I think once you have the house and you're actually moved in and you have the one you want, it's a 10 out of 5 because you really like your house. But since you can't go past 5, it's a 5 out of 5 once you're all moved in. But the whole process itself kind of sucks. So you have to make sure you have the house that you like because you don't want to go through that whole shitty process and have a house that you don't like. So Redneck, I, moving, I, I think I will give the uh, Redneck review for moving. I would have to say uh, overall, you know, based on all of that, I'm going to give it a three out of five because owning the house is wonderful but getting to own the house is just kind of shitty and then I would like to point out uh, if you've never owned a house before you will find out very quickly after you move in that you're gonna have nothing but yard work to do all the time so I mean you don't have to do it then the neighbors bitch at you and, and they get mad oh god damn all these flowers are in my yard that blew in from yours and you because you don't take care of it and so so you, you find out you have endless amounts of yard work too and like me I found out oh yeah I got three trees in my backyard come find out they're all fruit trees and they make fruit and so all summer long I'm gonna have to clean up fruit every single goddamn day for like three months so I mean you have to think about those things and I mean overall with all that in mind and everything I think owning the house still I'd say is a five but the whole process getting to it's about a uh, two and a half at best but then once you have the house it's wonderful Thank you for listening to the Redneck Review. Yes. Hello, this is uh, Doug King, and I am so glad that you are listening to Doug King's Chit Chat. Uh, this is where we do cheating and chatting, and we do all kinds of Doug King's Chit Chat things on here. And I'm glad that you are listening to episode five, because that is what this is, and it's a great, great podcast that we put together for you and for you to enjoy and listen to. And... Um, you're listening to episode five, where uh, we haven't yet, but we will still continue the adventures of Dog King. And uh, you can find out uh, why I am such the greatest of the great through these fake stories that our writers made up um, of Dog King. And because I will fill you in a little bit, I wanted it to be where I am always great. No challenges, I just always win, and I'm always very, very good. Uh, but uh, writers wanted some challenge into it, so that is why I seem weaker than I wanted to be. I'm not weak, I am Dog King, and uh, this is my chit chat, and you are listening to it, and we are having a good time moving along. We are currently recording this episode of Dog King's Chit Chat in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. It may be over by the time we release this episode, but uh, we are recording it in the middle, so it's made it very hard to get everybody to come in because they all want to come in and uh, be right in your face and be weird because that is what they are. I don't want to be weird, Dog King. Yes, well, that was Cheese Man. Um, he, he's 